In this lecture, we are going to know how to repair a geometry in HyperMesh. So sometimes when we get a CAD geometry from a design engineer, because of the import-export problem from one software to another, some data from the CAD geometry is lost. Because of this, we don't have a proper CAD. So in HyperMesh, there are some options with the help of which we can create or edit the surface or the geometry and we can repair it. Now to understand this, first of all, I will go to a new file. So go to open. In your 2D folder, go to repair geometry and open up this clip repair. Now we have a CAD geometry. You can see in the component, we have one collector. Okay, so first of all, when we want to check any geometry, imported geometry, here in the type of display, we need to select the by topo. You can select by 2D, 3D according to your requirement. Select by topo. So with this by topo option, you are going to see much more detailed view of the surface. For example, you can see multiple colors of the surface. I will click on let's say XY view from here. Okay, not this view. Let me check. Okay, click on ZX view. So from this ZX view, you will see we have a red color edge, then green color edge. Similarly, also here we have a yellow color edge. Here you can see. So it is very important to understand what is the meaning of this multiple color of the edges. So to understand this, I will go to some basics of the CAD geometry in HyperMesh. So go to the finite element book of HyperMesh. So in this book, it is very clearly explained what are these different types of color edges. So the first type of edge is called the free edge. Free edge is highlighted by red color. It is associated with only one surface. So here you can see the red color edge should be highlighted only for the outer edge. You can see wherever two surfaces are not connected, it is going to show with the red edge. After that, we have shared edge. Shared edge means we have two surfaces that are connected to each other. You can see here, this is green color. So shared edges are green color. Then we have T-junction. So T-junction means we have three surfaces. Here you can see three surfaces are in contact with each other, which is going to create a T-connection. So that is why it is called T-junction. Then surpressed edges. Sometimes when we suppress the edges using a toggle command, it is going to show this as a blue color. Free edges should be only on outside or the inner of the hole like this. So now let's go to HyperMesh and understand this in more depth. So here, if I zoom in onto this component, let's say here. So now zoom in here. First thing you will see is the red color edge. Here you can see two surfaces are connected to each other, but still it is going to show a red color edge. This is something we don't want. It means these two surfaces are not joined to each other properly. There is some gap. Now to solve this problem in HyperMesh, we can toggle this. To toggle this, I will go to geometry and go to quick edit. Or you can I press return. Or you can press F11 key from the keyboard. This is the shortcut key. Go to toggle. Click on the shared edge. Let's say I will select this edge. With this toggle command, it will close the gap between the surfaces. So the gap between surfaces is very small. So it has toggled. Here, let's say I will go to this edge. Click on this. Now it is not toggling. So, so the reason why it is not toggling is if you go to the error code not stitch the gap is greater than 0.03 so here we need to increase the tolerance value for the toggle so let's say it should be greater than this value highlighting so let's say this is 0.1 we need to take a smaller value click on this edge now it is toggled similarly this edge okay so now we have properly repaired this edge from here and then we need to go to some other edges now if you go to this edge from here and try to zoom in here you will see two edges so it means the gap between these two edges is much higher so let's say whether it is in between this tolerance value click on this edge okay 
Okay, now the surface has been repaired. So now zoom out from here and let's see the other surfaces as well. So here, if I zoom in here, you can see there is some extra surface. You can see here. Okay, so we don't need this extra surface. You can see this edge is going outside while the main geometry is like a curvature from here. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to toggle this. So first, so let's say if I go to this delete and go to the surface option from here, click on this. You can see the complete surface is selected. Okay, so click on this reset option, click on return. So first of all, I will have to toggle this. Click on this toggle option. Now the gap between the surfaces is much more. It is 0.1. So this still is not a very big value. So I can click yes. Now you can see it has not toggled properly because we need to trim the extra part. So here if we rotate this, you can see the geometry has been distorted. So the toggle option does not work always. What we have to do is click on reject or we can click on the undo option from here. Click on return. So we need to trim the surface with respect to this curvature line. To trim it, go to surface edit, go to trim with line. Here in the direction, I will click on normal. So click on this arrow in the types like the line surface, select the surface. Then cutting line will be this line trim. Now you can see this line has been trimmed. Then go to delete surface, click on the surface and delete. Now you can see there is some red edge here. So go to F11, quick edit, toggle it. So in this way we have deleted the extra part. So similar thing we can do here is, let's say I will zoom in here. So okay, we will also have to toggle it from here, toggle it. So you can see the stitch value is very high. Okay, so again, I want to show you is, so let's say I will zoom in onto this surface. Okay, let's zoom in here. You can see free edge on the four sides. But when you zoom in from here, you can see a surface is missing here. We don't have any surface here. It means we need to create a surface. So this surface should follow this fillet line. You can see outline of the fillet. So to create this type of fillet, we need to go to return. We need to create a surface. So to create the surface in hypermesh, we need to go to geometry surface. So in this surface, we have multiple options. And one of the most useful option is ruled. Go to ruled option. Here we need to select the opposite lines. Select the first line. Select the second line. Or what we can do is, okay, let's try this ruled option. Click on create. You can see it has created the ruled properly. Here the surface has been created. Also, we have some more options like creating the spline, filler, etc. We can also try these options. Similarly here, if I zoom in here, you can see also, you can see the opposite surface. It means this surface is also missing. So since this is a planar surface, we can also use some other command other than ruled. We can also use the ruled here. We can also use this command as a filler. I will uncheck all these options because we have a plain face. Select all the four lines one by one. So it will create a fill surface. Okay, let's say this is select this edge create. So it has filled this surface. Similarly, uh, the last thing I want to show you is you can see this yellow color edges. Yellow color edge means there are duplicate surface here. Okay, so when you create the mesh on duplicate surface, duplicate mesh will be created. So here we will have a very dense mesh. So because of this dense mesh, our result will not be proper.
to delete the duplicate surfaces we have option here let's say i will go to d feature here we have duplicates also also we can delete the duplicate surface by going to this delete option in the surface here we have click on the surface delete you can see extra surface is deleted so we have one more duplicate surface here i want to show you another option go to d feature go to duplicates here we need to select the surface click on surface click on displayed tolerance value let's say 0.1 find you can see one duplicate surface has was found it is going to highlight here click on delete so in this way we have repaired the geometry